Experience Lab is a place to meet, to discuss, to do experiments, to design, build new business models, and uh, of course to do research. It's a lab for projects that experiment with new forms of cultural experience, business, social innovation and arts. Let me give you some examples. How Hingston is a project that we are running in collaboration with the Viking Ship Museum in Roskilde. The experience cylinder is a prototype to be used in other experiments. And finally, Tagging Arts is a group of artists trying to uh, build new crowdsourced art forms. Besides the technologies that are used in the projects, we also facilitate video and sound recording of activities run in Experience Lab. We have this basic setup and facilities that allow us to document what goes on. The Experience Cylinder has two major strengths. One is that it's an immersive experience. It's 360 degrees. It's a huge screen. You can see a lot of data and you can zoom in on the data just by walking towards it. So you can navigate very large amounts of heterogeneous data easily. And it could be anything. It could be art. It could be the sea stallions to a trip to Ireland. It could be biomedical data. It could be an introduction for a new employee in a large company. The Viking Ship Museum has been cooperating with Experience Lab about making this prototype where we bring users as close to the voyage as possible with use of hidden technology and uh, symbol effects. It's actually possible for the user to get very close on the story and the life on board and it's been fascinating to use these hidden technologies, new ways of telling stories that we normally don't have access to at the Viking Ship Museum. Experience Lab is a collaboration and teamwork is an essential part of the activities of the lab. So we have researchers from computer science, communication and business studies working together and we also have collaboration between the researchers and users from outside the university. Technological innovation is a breeding ground for paradigms, new paradigms for engaging with digital worlds and new models of interaction but it, it's an experimental activity without the users, without uh, experimentally minded users in areas such as media, cultural history, arts and marketing. Uh, we can't develop the technological ideas in a realistic way and make them work.